Hey, how's it going guys? In this Excel FBA tutorial, I'll show you a FBA script to export some specific worksheets to new Excel workbooks. Alright, so this is actually a request I get pretty often, but I never get a chance to work on it. Anyway, here I have an Excel spreadsheet. In this Excel spreadsheet, I have five tabs. And I want to export uh, maybe just two of the tabs into their own individual uh, Excel workbook. So let's do, uh, let's do purple and green. I'll select these two tabs and I'll change the tab color. All right, now I'm going to go to the developer tab and I'll open the VBA window by clicking on Visual Basic. And make sure that you save the Excel workbook as Excel macro enable file. All right, so here I'm going to insert a new module. And I'll create a subroutine called export worksheets. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to declare my variables and my objects. The first uh, variable I'm going to declare is the washi list variable. As VM, followed by washi name. As VM. And for the exporter Excel workbook, I'm going to name the uh, variable or object new workbook, as workbook. And I'll create another variable to save the uh, target folder path. And I'm in the variable save folder a string. I'm going to assign the uh, folder location where I want to export the files to the save folder uh, variable. And make sure that you end the string with a backward slash. Next, I'm going to construct my worksheet list. And this is where I'm going to provide the worksheet names that I want to export to a new Excel file. I'm going to insert the array function. Inside the array function, I'm going to supply the worksheet name. Uh, it's going to be, let's see, it's going to be purple and green. Next, I'm going to iterate each element within the uh, worksheet list option. So I'm going to say for each worksheet name in worksheet list. Inside the loop, I'm going to ignore any error that occurs. So I'm going to type on air, resume, next. Okay. And here I'm going to create a new Excel workbook. So I'm going to type set new workbook. It equals to workbooks dot add. Now I need to make a copy of the uh, worksheet and save onto this uh, new workbook object. So here I'm going to type this workbook dot worksheets. And because our uh, worksheet name is already a string, so I'm going to provide the uh, worksheet name dot copy. And I want to copy onto the new workbook object. That was sheets. And here I'll insert the uh, worksheet in the first position. All right, so here I'm going to save the uh, new Excel book. So I'm going to type, actually this should be a uh, new workbook that save us. And here I'm going to insert the save folder. Concatenate with the worksheet name, followed by the uh, file extension type. And it's going to be .excel.sx. And here we need to uh, specify the file format. And for regular Excel file, it's going to be 51. Now I can close the exporter Excel workbook. Now set the save change to false. And that's everything we need to write for the loop. And once the, uh, the operation is finished, I'm going to uh, pop out a message, export complete. And that's everything we need to write for the script. Now let's do a test run. All right, so inside the exporter uh, folder, I don't have any file. Now if I go to view, macros, and around the export worksheets macro, all right, so here I have a typo, and it should be washi name. 
and it should be safe folder. Right, so I fixed all the typos. Now let me try again. So go to view, macros, and run the export worksheet macro. And here are the uh, two Excel files, green and purple. Now let's take a look. So if I open one of the Excel file, and here we have green, and the other file should be purple. Yeah, so here's the uh, purple text string. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.